Hey guys, today we're making some movie theater chairs, so I hope you'll enjoy. I definitely want to make a part 2 with some tickets and snacks, so if you have any suggestions for that, please let me know in the comments. If you want to make some sturdy chairs, polymer clay isn't really enough in itself, so I really do recommend using some type of metal sheet for the inside. And I use this aluminum sheet. You can buy sheets like this online, but otherwise you can use some metal from a chocolate tin or something similar. You then want to sketch out your stencils and I made one for the back of the chair, one for the seat and one for the legs. I then sketched that onto the metal and cut it out to get a shape like this and then bend it. You want the back and the seat to be slightly tilted. Now cover the back side of the back with black pommel clay and I also added some texture using sandpaper. After pre-baking that, I covered the legs with clay and baked again. Then cover what's going to be the underside of the seat and add the same texture you did with the back of the chair. After pre-baking, I used some clay to attach a piece of wire to the other side of the seat and I use liquid clay to strengthen it. After baking you want to measure and cut off any excess wire, then add some balls of black clay to the part you made before, add the seed and bake again. This is just a really simple method which will allow the seed to move. I also used black clay to connect the two seats I made and baked one last time. So for the batting which is going to shape the seat, I used this foam like material and the stuff I used came from a box of colored pencils and was there to protect the pencils from banging into the lid I guess. But any similar foam like material or even regular batting should work. I then cut and glued pieces to get the shape I wanted and covered it with red fabric. The fabric I used is some really thick felt, which is going to cover up any unevenness, but if you don't have this, just make sure to make the shape a bit more neat than what I did. You also want to make some armrests and I wanted to keep my chairs really really simple so I didn't add any cup holders but I am thinking of making some and just adding those later for part 2. Glue those in place and then for the two outer sides of the chairs I added a piece of extra fabric. To make the floor which is also going to act like a stand I took a piece of cardboard then measured and cut a couple of holes, added fabric on top and then just glued it in place. As a final detail I made two button shapes from black clay, added gold colored mica powder 
And then after baking, I just painted on a couple of numbers using black acrylic paint. Lastly, you can go over any areas or corners that might need some extra glue just to make it look neat, and you're done.